coordinate geometry. Completing O levels at the age of 11 and A levels at 13. Don't make your kids ordinary. Make them extraordinary. Enroll for a free webinar on olevels.com now. Coordinate geometry is the study of geometry using coordinate points. What are coordinates exactly? Well, we use coordinates to describe where something is. The coordinate system that we will be studying is called the Cartesian coordinate system. This is a lot to take in. You might be wondering as to what coordinates exactly are or as to what the Cartesian coordinate system exactly is. Let's learn more about Cartesian coordinate system and what coordinates are. The Cartesian coordinate system. This is what the Cartesian plane or the Cartesian coordinate system looks like. We can straight off the bat see that we have two axes right here. This horizontal line is what we call the X axis and this vertical line right here is what we call the Y axis. Together, the X and Y axis help us determine the position of points on the graph. Now, to explain what I just said, I have drawn five points on the graph. Now, let's try to determine the position of each of these points using the X axis and the Y axis. Let's start with this point I have labeled A right over here. The X value of point A we can find by looking at this value on the X axis. So the X value of this point is two and the Y value I can find by looking at the Y axis. So the Y value of this point is four. 2, 4. We can just write this as 2, 4. This is what we call the coordinates of point A. Values of the x and the y axis that help us determine the position of point A. So we have figured out the coordinates of point A to be 2, 4. Let's write them down over here. Point A has the coordinates 2, 4, which means that the x value of A is 2 and the y value is 4. Let's look at point B. Point B actually lies on the y axis. Point B actually lies on the y axis. The x value of point B is 0, and the y value, or where it touches the y axis, is 8. So the coordinates of point B are 0, 8 because it had an x value of 0 and a y value of 8. So let's write this down over here. Point B has the coordinate or the position 0, 8. Now let's look at point C. Point C has an x value of minus 6 and a y value is 8. We can observe that it lies on the same height as point B. That's because point B and C has the same y value. Anyhow, the y value of C is 8. The x value is minus 6. So the coordinates of point C are minus 6 and 8. So let's write that down over here, minus 6, 8. Now let's look at point D. Point D is this point right here. We can observe that it has an x value of minus 6 and a y value of minus 5. So the coordinates of point D are minus 6, minus 5. Now, let's try to find the coordinates of point E. We can observe that point E actually lies on the x-axis itself. The x value of point E is 5 and the y value is 0. 
So the coordinates of point E are 5, 0. So 5, 0. We have found the position or the coordinates of each of the five points that were plotted on this graph. So by now, you should have a pretty solid understanding of how we can use the coordinates to represent the position of the points. So we had a bunch of points and we were able to figure out what their coordinates were. Now let's try to go the other way around. Now we have three points and their coordinates, but we don't have them plotted on the graph. Now given these coordinates, let's try to plot these points on the graph and let's start with the first point. The first point has an x value of 8 and a y value of 3. This right here is 8 on the x-axis and right here we have 3 on the y-axis. So this right here is where point A will be plotted. So let's plot point A right over here and let's also label it A. Now let's try to plot point B. Point B has an x value of minus 7 and a y value of 6. This is minus 7 on the x-axis and this is 6 on the y-axis. So right here is where point B will be plotted. So point B will be plotted right over here. Let's also label this point B. Now let's plot the last point, point C. Point C has an x value of minus 6 and a y value of minus 5. This is minus 6 on the x-axis and this is minus 5 on the y-axis. So right here is where point C will be. So let's plot point C right over here and also label it point C. We were able to pinpoint the exact location of the points given just their coordinates. So that's the basics of coordinate geometry and the Cartesian coordinate system. Next, what we learn is how we can find the distance between two points. For example, let's say if we were to find the distance between point A and point C, how could we do that? Completing O levels at the age of 11 and A levels at 13. Don't make your kids ordinary. Make them extraordinary. Enroll for a free webinar on olevels.com.